Hi guys and welcome to Lakalama YouTube channel and my name is Natasha and I'll be your host today. Today I would like to show you step by step instructions how to knit a dishcloth. So if you got one of my starter kit starter kits for knitting then you have uh, knitting needles and two balls of yarn. One ball would be for headband and I have this tutorial as well in this playlist but today we will talk about dishcloth and for a dishcloth you will need a cotton yarn any color and chunky or deca weight would be uh, the best choice so for today's um, tutorial uh, we will need knitting needles also we'll need yarn and we will need scissors and crochet hook or needle just to wave in ends and also in your um, starter kit you probably found a pattern how to knit dishcloth and it's a very simple pattern and really good for a beginner knitter and you can learn how to knit and also you can make a present for yourself or for your loved ones so and we have directions that's where we start and first we will work we'll start in one corner and we will knit and make increases that's why it says increases here and when we reach the middle of the dishcloth then we'll start doing decreases so it's a second part here so we start with increases and in the beginning we have to cast on four stitches so we take knitting needles um, they can be different sizes and we take a uh, yarn so and for the end we don't need a long tail because we need to cast on only four stitches and I have separate uh, video tutorial very slow motion how to start um, how to cast on but here I'll still show you so you take your yarn and you make a triangle like this here is a short tail goes around your thumb and as I said this tail doesn't have to be long so this one is long enough and you hold it with two fingers those ends you take your knitting needle you can take two or one okay and you would just put your needle under the yarn go down pick this yarn and pull it through the loop and then you let go and then make it tight so now you have two stitches then we do again through the loop and let it go and tighten it up okay, again now we have four stitches one two three four and we still have long tail so and what I like to do I like to tie it up in the end here just to secure last stitch okay so now we take needle in our left hand the one that has stitches on and this long long piece of yarn you put it on your hand like this and with the rest of the fingers you hold your knitting needle and with right hand you take second needle and so we did cast on four stitches and now it says row one k all so it means knit all four stitches so put our knitting needle in the middle of the loop and we pull the yarn through see it make creates another stitch so we hold the stitch with our fingers and we go with knitting needles into needle into second loop and we pull yarn through not too loose not too tight okay again and again so now we knitted all four stitches so now again we hold our 
needle with stitches in our left hand and we have our yarn going down and row two it says k2 yarn over k all so and then the bottom we have abbreviation so k2 need two stitches yarn y o it's yarn over k2 together k need two together stitches bind off okay so we will k2 will need two stitches then we'll do yarn over and we'll need the rest so first we have to knit two stitches but now we, st we stick our needle into from this side from the left to right and we pull yarn through one two okay so now we have two stitches and two stitches and now yarn over it's very easy you just put your yarn over your needle and you need to okay now we have five stitches on the needles and it says repeat row two until you have 40 46 or 52 stitches on your needles it depends how big you want your dishcloth okay so this 40 or 46 or 52 stitches that's how many stitches you will be you will have here so when you you start knitting from the bottom and you do your increases and you knit 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 here i have 46 stitches so if you will have 40 stitches your dishcloth would be a little bit smaller or 46 stitches or 52 stitches so it depends how big your dishcloth you would like to have so i'll i'll need 46 stitches so it's a middle number here and now it says we should repeat row two until we have 46 six stitches so we do every time we need two here and then we do yarn over and here we have this big hole it's yarn over so we just need okay and we turn around our work and again knit two okay yarn over knit the rest one two three four so now we have six stitches already and again we need two okay then we do yarn over knit the rest see and when we come to the yarn over we knit it into this back loop okay Turn around okay knit two yarn over knit the rest okay turn our work here we see forming those holes already see like this dish cloth it has holes everywhere like on the edge so same way it starts to create here okay let's do a few more rows together and then you can continue all by yourself okay we need to yarn over knit the rest Here's our yarn over. And we do yarn over only in the beginning of the row. So knit two, yarn over, knit the rest. See? 
see we have small triangle already so right now on my needles i have one two three four five eleven stitches so and i'll just keep knitting keep knitting until i have 46 stitches on my needles so let's continue knitting by ourselves if you are not sure how to do it you just um, go back on this video a few minutes and you start following my instruction instructions and just go every row you need to yarn over and knit the rest all the stitches you have so i so i was knitting knitting and doing my increases and now i think my dishcloth is wide enough so after we did all the increases and now we are at the widest part of our dishcloth now we have to start doing decreases going other direction until we have four stitches left on our needles so if this dishcloth is wide enough for you you start doing decreases if it's too wide then you go back and just leave 40 stitches on, on your needles or you go ahead and do 52 stitches or more how much you want for me this dishcloth like approximately is good for my size of my hand and i like it very much so after i have 46 stitches i'm ready to do decreases so and if you look at our uh, pattern yeah, after decreases start row one you knit one knit two together yarn over knit two together knit to the end of the row so how we are supposed to do it i'll show you very quickly so first you need to knit one so first stitch we knit like we did before knit one next you have knit two stitch two stitches together we put our needle from left to right and we take two stitches and we pull yarn through those two stitches now we do yarn over and again we need to knit two stitches together so I put my needle from left to right and I pull my yarn through and then I just knit all the rest of the stitches till the end of the row yeah and I like to slide my fabric and all the stitches closer that would be easier to knit so, and we always go put our needle from left to right and just first row when we did different okay it's the longest row you have in your dishcloth so probably it will take a while to knit it especially if you're just starting to knit I really like variegated uh, yarn that changes colors for these clothes uh, because it's just so much more fun to knit it this way okay now turn our work and now we should repeat it says repeat row one until you have four stitches left so we we'll do same thing and every row our this cloth uh, becomes one stitch less so first we just knit and next two we have to knit two together so from left to right pull yarn through two stitches now we do yarn over and again pull our yarn through okay and now we just keep knitting i'll just pause my video and knit till the end of the row and when you're at the end of the row you turn your work around move your stitches closer take your yarn again if it fell out of your hand and now again we knit one knit two stitches together yarn over and again you knit two stitches together pull yarn through two stitches and again you just knit all the stitches till the end of the row ok 
okay and let's do it one more time together and then we can do it um, by ourselves and if you still don't remember how to do it then you will just unwind maybe one minute back and then you can do it over and over with me again and whoever knows how to do it by yourself then you just keep knitting pause the video and keep knitting okay turn our work knit first stitch next two stitches we will i'm just uh, putting my needle in here to loosen up stitches a little bit then i put my needle through two stitches and pull my yarn through yarn over again two together okay and then knit the rest okay let's knit by ourselves until we have like maybe six stitches and we'll do a few stitches together so here is our uh, corner as i promised you when we have just only six stitches remaining on a or on our dishcloth i would come back and show you how to finish uh, this dishcloth so as you can see we have here's hole so we just need to make i believe one more Two together, yarn over, two together again, even though we have hole here, just turn around this stitch and knit two together, flip our work over, so now we have this middle, middle hole, sorry, we have middle hole, so we don't, uh, this one, so we will not do yarn overs anymore knit one knit two middle ones together again flip it over like so see now we have this middle hole knit the rest Flip our work over and it says knit one row. So we knit one row. One, two, three, four. And now we have to be all, all stitches. It means bind off. So how do we do binding off? Take two stitches and knit them together. Put the stitch back again. Take two stitches, pull yarn through. Put the stitch back on the needle. One more time. Okay. Now we cut off our end of our yarn. And pull this yarn through the loop. Okay. Now our dishcloth is done. So you stretch it a little bit because all stitches they're not um, it would be nice to wash it in the warm water and then stretch it up and lay it flat to dry just to make it straight and uh, looks better especially if you do it uh, as a present but still even like this it looks quite nice and now we need to wave in the ends so we take a crochet hook or a knitting needle and you just pull it through the uh, stitches like this. Okay, and now we need to pull it through this way. Just want to put one stitch in here. Okay, and now we just go around the edge. Just pull it.
just go ahead and wave until the end okay and let's do the same with this side you can start going here even this direction right away it's a cotton yarn so it um it's a little bit harder to work with cotton yarn compared to wool but for a dishcloth you really want to use uh, cotton yarn because um, <laughs> wool yarn wouldn't work very well so and here i'll show you how to go to the middle not on the edge but you can go this way Oops. you can ha go and hide it anywhere in a dishcloth So our dishcloth is done and I hope it worked for you too. And here on the bottom I have a pattern support, my email and here is my Ravelry store where I sell my patterns and I would like to tell you that um, in 2020 I will have 12 dishcloths every month. Uh, there will be new pattern for dishcloths and they will be all different. They will have different designs uh, in the middle because this one is the simplest one, but you can also do different variations. And you can also follow me on Instagram. And I also have Etsy store where I buy, uh, where I sell different handmade crochet or knitted items. So it was fun talking to you today and I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. So don't forget to put likes and subscribe to my channel. Bye.